If you're wondering about how to view landing page data in GA4, this video is going to walk you through exactly what you need to do so you can use that data to improve your website. So let's get started. A landing page is the first page that a user sees no matter how they arrived at your page, whether it's from Google search results, a link in an email, a website, or social media, or anywhere else for that matter. Now, while you can set up filters in the main pages and screens report to see those landing pages, we recommend that you create one in the Explore tab instead. That way you can save it and access it at any time you want to without needing to recreate it every single time. To create your landing page in GA4, you'll need to start with a blank report. So go to the sidebar and click on the Explorations icon and then click here on the blank report. Next, give your report a name that you'll recognize like landing page or landing pages exploration. Next, click the plus button in the dimensions box and then use the search bar to locate and check the landing page dimensions. Then click the blue import button. Now click the plus button in the metrics box and check the following metrics. Entrances are the number of times visitors landed or entered your site on that page. The engaged sessions are the number of sessions that lasted longer than 10 seconds or had a conversion event or two or more page views. Engagement rate is the percentage of engaged sessions out of the entire number that entered on that page. New users is the number of users who visited your site for the very first time. The average engagement time per session is the average user engagement time per session. You can also use purchases, but that's optional depending on the metrics that you're wanting to see. Now, once you have that done, click the blue import button. Now that you have your dimensions and metrics selected, you can click and drag them into the report. So click and drag your landing page dimensions into rows, and then click and drag all the metrics into values. Now you have a landing page report that'll include how many entrances that there were on those pages, how engaged your users were, and whether or not they completed a purchase. If you're using Universal Analytics, you can find the landing pages report by going to Behavior, and then to Site Content, and finally to Landing Pages. Be sure to select the date range that you'd like to look at with the date selector at the top right corner of Google Analytics. All right, now the big question is, how can you use that data to improve your site or your marketing campaign? So let's go over just a few examples here. Ideally, you want your landing pages to encourage readers to dive deeper into your website and get them to take some sort of action, like filling out a form or clicking a button. So if you notice that users are leaving the landing pages without visiting another page or they're not taking an action, you might want to try adding links to relevant posts or pages on your site throughout that content. And you can try creating a visible call to action button near the top of the page. You may also want to try an enticing offer somewhere in that content and create a pop-up or banner that's asking visitors to subscribe. But what do you do about low entrance rates? Well, let's say you wrote a really great piece of content and you think it should be getting more landing page sessions but it's just not very high on the landing page list or it's not even there. Well, to get more visits to the landing page, you could share it on social media or send it out in an email to your subscribers, or you could build links to it from other content on your site or from other websites, or why not promote it in an ad campaign? On the other end of the spectrum, let's say that you have one particular blog post that's really bringing in visitors and they're spending quite a while on your site. So why not examine that page and see what's working and then use that data and create related content, offers, and links to other content on that page. And you can examine that page to figure out what's working and then replicate it. If you're using WordPress, the easiest way to keep tabs on your landing pages is with Monster Insights. Monster Insights allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics, both Universal Analytics and GA4. That way you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. With a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features like event tracking and e-commerce tracking. Plus, you can easily track forms, custom dimensions, outbound links, media, and more. With Monster Insights, your landing page report is always available at the click of a button without ever having to open Google Analytics. And there you have it. Just a few steps. You can view landing page data in GA4. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.